Good day. I want to thank you for clicking on my page here, my channel, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am PI187, and I'm going to be checking out some more Samson. And today it is the sixth sense. So, uh, pretty sure there's a movie named The Sixth Sense, was there not? Anyhow, let's do this. Fellow Americans, good morning. Uh. Certain dates echo throughout history. The January 6th insurrection. The January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. January 6th. January the 6th. January 6th. Including dates that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what. You can't tell me her voice doesn't just fucking annoy you. They were doing when our democracy. I'm not even American. She just annoys me fucking just listening to her fucking. Ah. What's going on? He came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941, September 11th, 2001, and January 6th, 2021. News flash, nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit that shit was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. Nobody's walking around stressing over Jan 6. It happened and that was it. We haven't gave a damn since. It's all good when riots are kept in the hood. But now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up. Not back then when goods were looted and folks were brutalized. Not then, but right now because it happened to the suit and ties huh. that shit's way above my head we were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead but people like nancy didn't flinch in fact they loved it then people will do what they do bitch ain't that what you said yep there's literally compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap so it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words you put your own foot in your mouth and now you're forced to dial it back mm -hmm. it's fine when you encourage it in my town and his town and her town when the whole fucking city's being burnt down you smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit but as soon as it comes close to you then it's a problem got it I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down in front of his shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you'd probably say good riddance. You'd walk right over me like I was a crack and you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge me, you'd probably nudge my body and go, Aw, little fucker must have died of COVID. <laughs> you know it's true. Stop bluffing. All right. They do absolutely nothing that is trusting. Mm -hmm. Kamala, for you to compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 is disrespectful. And yeah, extremely disrespectful. Like, I, the fucking, uh, when she fucking said 9-11, I was just like, really? You're going to try to compare the two? Like. Not even the fucking same ballpark. Fucking disgusting. Mm, That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. Mm. No one that I know is even still paying attention to it. We'd all forget this shit in like a month. Yeah. I I I remember. What was it over twenty years ago now? Nine eleven. And uh, I remember exactly. Where I was working, what I was doing at that job, what was said to me, the whole fucking situation, that is fucking burnt into my brain of 9-11. Uh, January 6th, I honestly can't tell you where I was, what I was doing, uh, when I heard the news, um... Yeah, he's 100% right. It's not the same fucking thing. It's not even 
close to the same thing. Um, I'm sure they'd like to make it try to be the same, like, as big of a thing, but... If nobody mentioned it, yep. and you know it too, uh -huh. you're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any juice. While your stupid committee's wasting money convicting people from a year ago while CNN runs continuous loops. Yep. We would rather hear you address a million other issues. We don't want to listen to you cry. Get a fucking tissue. So many things could be dealt with in a jiff, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Yeah, I'm back. He's back. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fucked. Um, like I said before, I was fucking brainwashed. Um, back, back when this shit happened, the, I, I, my, my, my brain was on the other side thinking, you know, fucking Trump was the worst person on the fucking planet and all the people who supported him were fucking crazy and just, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um. Because, like I said, I watched a lot of mainstream media, and they were all pushing that fucking same narrative, and literally, I fell right into the fog. And I had a lot of people telling me it was all bullshit, but I didn't believe it. And until... I think it's a thing, you, when it comes to shit like this, you kind of have to discover it on your own. Nobody can just say, hey, no, that's wrong, that wasn't the way it was, this the way it was, because your biased brain is going to be like, no, nah, you're... You don't know what you're talking about. I'm right. But if you discover the shit on your own, it, it really comes into focus. That like, what the fuck? Like, what? How the fuck was I even thinking like this? Like, it's funny because I, I watch, you know, some of this shit now. And the people who I hated before when I was brainwashed, I now like. And the people who I liked before when I was brainwashed, I now fucking can't stand. It's it's just fucked, and my brain is just fucking like it, like a fucking switch was hit, and fucking yeah, it's just it's just it's just fucking weird. But anyhow, yeah, I wouldn't I would not compare this thing, uh, January sixth to September eleventh by any means. Um, like like he said, people have already forgotten about it, and nobody's ever gonna forget about nine eleven. Not while you're still alive, anyway. Um, but anyhow, I will, uh, stop rambling on and I will end this video. So I want to thank you for watching it. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, um, like, subscribe, and, uh, you have your great, have yourself a great day. All right. I will talk to you later.